of gas brooder from Damli Eating and um, you know in this video I'm going to be doing the unboxing I'm going to show you what we have inside I think there are two different types the one special one for that matter that has the thermostat feature that is when you put on the the gas brooder in your chicken house it has the ability to regulate itself based on the room temperature so i'm going to be unboxing the whole thing now let me get my blade and uh, let me cut this open wow yeah i see sunflower i don't know if sunflower is the product line the name of the product line or something this is sunflower but your name is damli wow so we have two gas brooders here wow yeah i think this is the one that has the thermostat feature wow it's quite giant than i thought yeah this is the thermostat that should regulate wow this is cool let me not turn it right now okay and i think this is what the thermostat uses to to track the temperature this is like the thermometer on the thermostat okay like i said earlier there are two similar design the only difference here is the thermostat the presence or absence of the thermostat so whichever one after we've tested it and we've seen how it works i think this thing is pretty solid this is pretty solid and uh, it should hold some really uh, crazy fire okay i'm just going to place it here and then this is like the air air filter uh this is going to go somewhere here yeah this is going to go inside here yeah that's the air filter both of them have the air filter both of them actually yeah, there's, there's, there's a user manual there for me, for me to, okay, this is the other way to enter. And you know, as, as with any effective gas brooder, you need a kind of over to send back the heat, to send the heat to the surrounding, to the lower part of the house. So this is the hover and this too is this is quite solid. I it's it weighs a few uh would I say pounds now? I don't think it's up to a kg. I don't think it's up to a kg, but it's it's quite solid and um I just hope this thing is going to be effective you know if a gas if it, uh, for you to see a gas brooder is effective it has to distribute the heat uh properly and then it has to save on gas you know you don't want to use a gas brooder that just wastes your gas anyhow and that's one of the challenges that we still have with the locally made gas brooders you know people are able to get some materials that are really tough and can withstand it for a long period of time but the part of conserving or saving on gas i don't think there is anyone who has really gotten that so until they do i think we'll still patronize these uh guys that have made the that have the imported ones okay so this is the user manual and this is going to help me a lot with the installation and all that okay sunflower gas brother okay but the name of the company is Danny environment technology i believe okay i'm still going to go through this but it's 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 really cool let me just place this one down here and uh is that all we have inside of this yeah i think that's all we have okay then this other one so what is this one 
Okay, this is the user manual. And so what is this? Maybe they are product catalog or something. Oh, this is actually like a flyer. Okay, this is a flyer for advert purposes, I guess. All right, so thanks to Damley. Damley actually sent this to me uh, free of charge, although I had to pay for the shipping, of course. So they sent this to me and I'm going to review it and tell you guys if it is good or not. I'm going to, trust me, I'm going to give honest review of this after putting it into you so the next batch of chicks i'm going to be using for training or what do i call it now uh, which i'm going to be using for december anyways uh, i think they are going to enjoy this gas brooder and come to think of it this really looks cool this really looks cool i think i should come closer to the camera or okay i'll show you a closer look of this show you a closer view of this so you know what we have wow well, it's not bad it's not bad at all the overlook feels cool the hair filter is okay and this uh, you can also extend this I can actually extend it so well so I think this will work perfectly yeah i think until we put it to test we can't really see but it looks good okay so that's what we have now and i'm just going to try to couple it and um, show you how this works all right guys it's time to install and um because of the clicking of this part this moving parts on the table and all that i would have to make it a voice over so here is the air filter that's the hair filter there and this is the main guy with the burner and the thermostat control you can turn the thermostat high and low to adjust the pressure of the gas flow so that works really fine and uh, trust me I've tested this and it works perfectly so right now we are going to fix the hover you have to watch this closely to see how you install it so it comes in from the lower part or far away from the burner yeah it comes in from that angle and this is the hardest part trying to fit in the the four the four hooks yeah it's the hardest part for me yeah but i i got it i got it after after a while all right so it's just about holding it well and um just trying to push it in and once you tighten it once you lock it up in the clockwise direction it just feels real good it fits tightly and it's not shaking there's no moving parts so that's what we have it's just about the gas brother this is what what, it, what we have here so the remaining thing now is the air filter so you have to remove a hook the hook that, that is placed there and you try to fit in this air filter but then i actually think this is the hardest part yeah this is the hardest part but of course you can do it without making it hard for yourself i'll explain right now you see this pin you remove it and uh, you lock in the air filter into that opening you can just leave it there trust me you can leave it there and it won't come off but because there's a hole there and um, I think you should try to put in the pin, put back the pin and that's what makes it so hard. So, but I got it. I got it after about one minute or, or thereabout. So you just have to be careful with the edges of that plate that forms the guide for the burner. So you have to be careful because you can cut yourself. Yeah, trust me so you try to put it back inside the hole and then you you bend the end of one end of the pin you bend one end of the pin to lock it into position and that's just it then you'll be left with uh fixing the holes and then hanging the device hanging the gas brooder you can see i'm still fighting with that pin it's quite some work there 
all right so if you're just joining this is diy hagrick your number one animal scientist and your poultry success partner so you would want to subscribe to this channel to get more insightful tips on how to succeed in poultry farming this is that number one guy that is doing everything to ensure that you all succeed in poultry farming and you can see the ordinary gas brooder lying on one side as the left side of the screen uh, if you're watching is the left side of the screen that's the ordinary one and that works real good too it works real good but in this um installation video i'm going to be installing the uh, more complex one mm -hmm. i just presume it to be more complex because um, it has the the thermostat but of course there's nothing to fix on the thermostat so and because this is dealing with gas you want to make sure that all the parts are tightly locked yes that is a safety tip for you the parts must be tightly locked and upon speaking with the manufacturer uh, this thing needs maximum of 1.4 bar as the gas pressure that will be flowing through it so you, when you are regulating most of the industrial uh, gas regulators are between 0 to 2 bar so when you are regulating when you are opening the gas ensure to put it around 1.4 if you have a calibrated um, gas regulator uh, that re regulator you plug on the gas head that's what i mean so try to use it at 1.4 bar maximum and it works real good the f the gas flow is smooth the burning is smooth yeah i'm going i'm still going to be showing you the video or uh, where i tested it especially with the thermostat feature i'm going to be showing you in the next video all right so let's see what we have you have to remove this plastic or the nylon you have to remove it and here is the clean stainless steel it's the clean stainless steel and trust me even after using this thing for about 30 minutes there was no stain on the stainless it was still clean so that shows the strength of the material it shows that it's really cool even if it will eventually change color later i can tell you that this is way way better than a lot of other gas brooders because some of them immediately you turn on the fire you start seeing changes in the color of the guard all right so this is what we have you can stretch that um that iron that extends the thermostat sensor you can stretch it but do it so carefully so you don't break it although this doesn't look like something that will break very quickly so that's the installation and thank you guys see you in the next video